My name is Jamie, and I'm the design lead for the Creator Expert Series. Today, we've got a real special treat for train fans. If you have the Emerald Knight or the Marist train, which maybe is a little bit old-fashioned or a little bit industrial, we're going full speed ahead into the future with our first high-speed passenger train called the Horizon Express. And uh, this is the January exclusive, or what we call now the Creator Expert uh, model. And we're very excited about it because traditionally we've kind of avoided the high speed uh, angle because that's usually where city goes. And that tends to go towards a younger crowd. So the building experience is a little bit more simple and a little more basic. But with this train, we can assure you that there are lots of clever and fun building techniques and you're gonna have a real treat building it. So basically, I'm just gonna go through some of these parts because we're very excited to show you them. If we start with the main engine, I think there's some really fun building techniques in here. And that's surprising because these trains are traditionally uh, very aerodynamic, which could mean that they're a bit simple, but we found some wonderful opportunities to surprise you with some building techniques. The first of issue, which you would probably see is on the front here, and we had to do some upside down building uh, to try to keep this nice smooth shape. And you'll see that it continues up into this windshield, and that's actually a printed windshield, which is the first time we've printed on that element, which we're pretty excited about. We also have printing on this uh, tile here, which is quite nice. And then we wanted to go a little bit beyond printing, and we wanted to try to avoid labels wherever possible. So this back area here is a really fun section because this chevron or these arrows are all brick built. So there are tiny little pieces, little slopes that actually make up each part of that, uh, which we think you'll really have fun exploring and building. Then of course we have the functionality with the pantographs. They can go up and down and they both work. So depending on the direction of travel, you can decide which way to go. And then of course the train opens up. And when you look inside, we have uh, a removable uh, electric motor, which is like on the real train, except I don't think on the real train it says easily removable. Uh, but you can take that out actually and add power functions because just by inserting a battery box and a receiver and a motor, you can power this. And then on the front, we also have uh, a conductor or a driver, which is a female driver, which has been long overdue since we've done that. And uh, we thought it would be a great opportunity to include her in this set. So lots of fun things to explore when you're building the engine. So if we continue down the train, we pull the uh, wagons out here. And one of the first things that you'll notice is that the trains are actually joined. They have a co-joined wheel set there, a bogey. Uh, we actually don't get to do this very often. In fact, I think we've only done it once before, but it really gives a nice sleek uh, look to the train that we think is rather exciting. In addition to that, we have working doors. And you can see the doors actually function on both sides. And these are brick-built doors, which we think adds a really nice detail and look. And then of course you wanna play with the train. So we want to make it sure that way the roofs come off. When the roof comes off here, you can see it's actually a really nice split. It uh, divides it at a midpoint, and you can see most of this actually comes off on the roof. And what that does is it allows you a lot more access to get in on the play and, and play with the minifigures. And as you look inside on the minifigures, one thing that might stand out is actually we have uh, one of the passengers has already decided to use the restroom. <laughs> I guess he couldn't wait until the train left the station. Uh, but we do have a, a, a restroom here, which is rather neat with a sliding door. And uh, then we have two passengers. We have some newspapers. We have uh, some luggage and some wonderful details uh, really to help, help you along your journey. Then if we move to the second car, you can take the roof off again. And you can see that we have a nice club car or a dining car, depending on how you'd like to go. Uh, you can see we have a couple here, perhaps on a date or whatever store you'd like to imagine. Uh, we have the coffee machine. We have a chess set with uh, drawers that can open, an extra table in case they want to come from first class between the wagons. And then you can also see the attendant here ready to mix up the drinks. One of the cool features of this part and actually both of these wagons are these windows. These windows you may recognize because they normally go vertical and we've chosen to lay them on their side and that gives the train a really sleek fast look and also a different building experience for you guys to enjoy. So just to recap some of those really cool elements that we have in this set. We have of course the train window which you would expect in a normal train. We've just taken it to another level bringing it sideways but of course train fans will hopefully like that. We have some nice printed elements here and in addition to that we have this great angle plate and when you start building with it, you're really gonna appreciate the possibilities of what you can accomplish. And we tried to add quite a few of those in the set. In addition to that, we have a new tile. And this tile is an inverted tile. So it gives you a nice smooth surface on the underside that I know a lot of your fans that don't like the studs to show on your models, that'll really help polish them off and make them look nice. And then of course we have on the front here, a nice uh, angle element to keep the train going nice and fast. In addition to that, we have the figures again. 
just to bring out the cast, it's almost like the credits in a movie. <laughs> we have all of them. We have a nice female driver. We have the uh, the conductor. We have a couple of first class passengers, and then the couple on a romantic uh, ride across the countryside. And speaking of that countryside, just to give you an idea of the expandability of this model, it is a train. And as a train, we would really like to encourage you to explore how much bigger it can get. And if you take this train and you add a second one, you really can start to see how impressive this can become. And that actually helps explain about why we have some of these numbers on here, because there's additional numbers and you can expand your train as long as you want. So uh, we really hope you get a chance to enjoy the Horizon Express.